Okay, so first step is you log into your Domo instance and then navigate to the data set that you want to retrieve through the API, and you'll have a URL that looks something like this with a string of characters right after data sources before details, and you need that uh, for this script to work. So you copy that. And then we have a pre-made script here that you can use. Um, you can obviously build your own if you have the ability to do that. Um, but there's just a few things you need to fill in. Data set ID goes here. So that part's done. Now I need to get credentials to actually log into the API. So you go to developer.domo.com. Um, you log in. It's just going to ask you which instance. So you just tell it. Okay. Assuming you already logged into that instance, it'll log you right into the Domo account. And then you want to create a new client under this My Account option. So you click on that. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't really matter, just so you can keep track of it if you're making several of these. And then the scope, all you really need is data. You could just collect others if you needed to, but for this one, data works. Create. And they're going to supply you with two numbers that you need, a client ID and a secret. So you grab both of those, client ID first, paste that into the client ID section, and then your secret. It's that into the secret section. Uh, if you're going to put this into a database, I've got some little code here where you could fill out your host name, user, password. This will push it into a MySQL database. Um, but you can do whatever you want with the data once you grab it, obviously. Um, these sections, this first section, you don't need to edit. It just grabs the access token that you need. So it's basically sending that client ID and secret to Domo. It returns a token that you can use to grab the data. And then the next section, again, you don't need to edit will actually pull the data in. As far as the data you're retrieving, if you look back at your set, the only thing you need to be aware of are the actual column names. So time on site, row ID, things like that. Um, for this one, I'm going to grab uh, time on site and daily visitors. So then the only steps left is you log down or you scroll down to this area where you are looping through the data and this is the part where you're actually reading the data and then storing it into your database. So I've created a couple of variables here that I can use. The thing that's important is that you paste the field names exactly as they appear into these parts. So you can create as many of these lines as you need, whatever variables you want to grab. And in this case, I'm just inserting these two things into a database table. And so really, that's the only editing you need to do. The stuff below this is just a function that actually reads the CSV that Domo pushes back to you from the API. Um, and once you have all of this set, assuming your data fields match, uh, the database you're storing things into, you should be able to run this PHP script uh, on your server, and you will be pulling data into your own database. So if your PHP script executes properly, you can see now we've got the data from that database stored into a local MySQL database here on my computer.